I'm a fan of the cute, cuddly and graphic show called, Happy Tree Friends, created by Wondo Media. Several months ago during Halloween, I checked the usual official site for new episodes. But I was disappointed that it was just a blurred version of Can't Stop Coffin. Several months later, at night, at the Happy Tree Friends wiki, a link to an unofficial Happy Tree Friends site drew my attention. I clicked it, then the site appeared. It looks almost like the official site, but only filled with Happy Tree Friends stuff that never seemed to be updated. But for the sake of nostalgia, I watched several old Happy Tree Friends episodes, along with the TV episodes. After watching several episodes, I noticed something. That something is never shown on both YouTube and the official Happy Tree Friends site. It's an episode. The thumbnail showed a close-up of Toothy in a red cowboy costume, smiling while holding a leash. I have no idea why this thing's not shown on the Happy Tree Friends site, but only on the unofficial site. It's impossible that it's fan-made. The graphics are pure made by Mondo itself. Feeling curious, I watched the episode. The Mondo Mini Show's logo pop-pop appeared first as usual, and then, something became different. Instead of the Happy Tree Friends intro, it's the 1942 Merry Melodies opening with the zooming Warner Brothers shield, the 1941-1945 version of Merrily We Roll Along, and Red Rings. I was confused since Warner Brothers doesn't produce Happy Tree Friends. As the music finishes playing, the Merry Melodies logo gets struck by lightning, transforming it into the episode's title, Two Thing on a Dog. A good and nice pun for a Happy Tree Friends episode name as usual. I'm going to see what mayhem will be caused in that episode. The episode started with a shot of Two Thieves House, a normal regular house, at Halloween night, as some carved pumpkins are shown. Two Thieves comes out, in that similar red cowboy costume, taking Whistle, the poppy shown in Dog on it episode, for a good nice walk. As usual, happy times at the beginning, then the violent times will be shown. In the first minute of the episode, Toothy is on his way in the town. He stopped when he saw his friend Cuddles holding a bag full of candies. Toothy turns delighted and asks Cuddles in the usual gibberish manner if he can join him for trick or treating. Cuddles agreed, then the two walked away, leaving Whistle alone. Whistle then roams free around the town, until Lumpy's whistling caught his attention. This caused Whistle to turn insane, then quickly pounces Lumpy and tears his body to pieces, just like in the usual Happy Tree Friends manner. Giggles Petunia and Mime saw his death, causing them to scream in horror, with the squeaky screams of course. Whistle, still in his insane state, heard them and quickly attacks Giggles, which is slower than the others. Giggles' arm gets torn off, causing her to lose a lot of blood, and then died. Whistle attacks and kills Petunia and Mime the same way he did to Giggles. New scene begins, Whistle had calmed down. He runs freely in a park. Flippy is shown selling some goodies at the park, with Sniffles Flaky and Russell in front of him, ready to buy some. Russell bought a whistle, and then he blew it, causing a nearby whistle to hear it and turns insane. This time, Whistle attacked Flippy from behind, tearing his head off. This part made me confused. Flippy wasn't supposed to die without having him flipped out first. I thought the creators just want something different. But back into the episode. The three animals quickly turned panicked after they saw what Whistle had done to Flippy. Whistle then tears Flaky's face off, causing her to run in panic. Whistle then mauls Russell, while Sniffles escaped. However, Whistle quickly appeared in front of him, as if Whistle made a quick kill on Russell. Then Sniffles had no choice but getting killed by Whistle. Meanwhile, Toothy and Cuddles had gathered a lot of candies in their bags. They are just nearly out of the mole's house. However, the mole's boiling water in the pot created a whistling noise, drawing the insane whistle into his house. Toothy and Cuddles then hear the sounds of mauling. They quickly rush into the mole's house, only to see a bloody mess. The insane whistle looks at the duo, quickly attacks Cuddles, instantly killing him. Toothy however remains untouched, as if the puppy doesn't want to harm his owner. Toothy looks at Cuddles' corpse, now in the hyperrealistic way. He begins sobbing, then that turns into crying. The scene changes into the inside of Two Thieves' house. Everything's dark. Food messes and misplaced items are everywhere. Two Thie, sitting on a couch, still feels the horror about his murder or pet. He can't stand his friends to get killed. Now this is the part where I began to feel uneasy, as in the usual Happy Tree Friends series, there's no such ambient thing as this, like dark colored scenes, without a hitch is still okay. Violence is okay, but I have no idea about this. Everything's mute as the shot still showed Toothy on his couch. In front of him is a TV with static on it. 
It was like if he doesn't watch anything. He doesn't even make a sound, or doing anything else. Just sitting. Ten seconds later, the TV show Scary Faces. Those faces are so hyper-realistic that I almost screamed. Toothy still seems mute though. Later, a close-up of his face is shown. His face is hyper-realistic, making me creep a little. The scene changed, now Toothy was holding Whistle's leash. He goes to another room. A few seconds later, some off-screen crackling and choking noises are heard. The scene changes into the room. Toothy had hung himself in a super morbid and almost realistic manner. Meanwhile, Whistle is resting in his dog house. When the closing iris is shown, Whistle shows his insane state again, but creepier as both his eyes are blood red, and no longer the usual insane or Pac-Man eyes. During the closing credits, the song playing in the background is Merrily We Roll Along instead of the Happy Tree Friends theme, and the credits appear on the same Red Mary Melody's rings as the opening. Even though I creeped out, I still wondered what will the moral be. However, after the credits ended, there's no moral. Instead, a hyper-realistic and creepy, partially decomposed close-up head of Toothy, without eyes, has lots of blood smears, sharp bulk teeth, etc., is shown. It was almost midnight, and I screamed in horror, waking up my parents. I just felt traumatized ever since. I won't watch any lost episode that never posted on YouTube or the official Happy Tree Friends site. Luckily, the episode had been removed after the Mondo crew noticed it. But it's still unknown who actually put the lost episode in the first place. The episode itself, might be possibly meant for 2010's Halloween special. But the Mondo crew saw it as being too morbid, and not fitting with the world of Happy Tree Friends, so they make a blurred version of Can't Stop Coffin instead.